Well, I really shouldn't be here today. I should be somewhere else, but uh, best laid plans and all that. Well, my original plan was to go to St Abbs on the southeast coast of Scotland, but I only had a few days in which to visit and unlike most coastal shoots, I really needed a high tide and that wasn't quite at the best times of day. Plus there was blue sky forecast for these next few days, so not a good mix. So I thought it was just going to be a wasted journey. So a last minute change of plan and I thought I'd head to the east coast of Yorkshire to Flamborough, a place I wanted to revisit for quite a while now. Plus the low tide was timed for sunrise and sunset, which was ideal but there were still these blue skies forecast, plus some pretty strong winds. And I thought, I'm just not gonna get my best images there. Plenty of sun, plenty of light, but I hate blue skies, as you probably know. So again, I ditched that plan last minute last night, but not wanting to waste these days entirely, I decided to come somewhere local to shoot instead. Somewhere that doesn't rely on tides, somewhere that does benefit from blue skies, and that can cope with any wind that there is in the air. So my subject is just 10 minutes from home. It's actually beside a very busy road, and it's this wonderful field of Ulsi grape. So I knew those obstacles at the coast were just going to get in the way of my creativity. And to be honest, I just wasn't in the right mood. I'm just not going to produce the pictures that I'm going to be happy with. It's the same with these vlogs. I love doing them, but if I'm not in the right mood, they can become a chore and so I won't produce my best work. I'd rather leave it until I get my creativity back and know that I can do my best work then. And it's the creativity that photography is all about. If you're not feeling creative, you probably won't produce your best work. But that's okay. I don't fight it. I just accept it, knowing it won't be long before I get back in the groove again. And the same applies for my writing. I write articles for my E6 subscription and for magazines and some days I can just sit down and the ideas just flow but other times looking at that blank page is a bit like looking down the long dark tunnel so I go and do something else and I don't beat myself up about it. It's part of the creative process. It's called writer's block and there's photographer's block too. I know a lot of people go through this and you're left feeling uninspired. But creativity comes and goes and sometimes it doesn't always match your plans. Sometimes I just make the effort to get on location and once there, the inspiration kicks in and all is good again. Other times I just realize it isn't gonna to work today. So my advice is just to accept it, try not to fight it and just let it pass. Not wanting to get too deep, it's a bit like depression. And I think the same approach works here, having dealt with that myself in the past. Anyway, let's brighten things up and capture what we do have here before this video gets too melancholy. Let's do the shoot. So we have nice, bright, warm colours in the crops, in the landscape, contrasting nicely with the cool blue colours of the sky. Fantastic combination. Well, as it is clear blue skies and the sun's off to my left, there's only one thing for it. Let's polarise this place. Well, when you're shooting big skies with a polarizer, to avoid the uneven polarizing effect in the sky, either don't shoot with too wide angle a lens, keep it at 24 millimeter or above, or alternatively, you could try using a two-stop soft grad, place that over the lighter area of the sky, and that should help even up the balance. Well, the idea here is not only to do my own shots, but I also want to do some nice verticals with plenty of sky, which should make them ideal for magazine front covers.
Oh, for those wondering about the film camera vlog, the pinhole camera shoot, the shoot's done, pictures are done. I've just got the pictures back actually, but I haven't had a chance to check them yet. So the video should be up very soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want even more content, you can go to my E6 subscription, where there's even more videos and technique e-guides, plus you can see details of my photography workshops and my online photography course in landscape photography. It's all there on the website. I'll see you soon.